get, Michaela, why are you making me pick between these two? What the fuck? <laughs> Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Remember Remember. And in the last episode, we, uh, I kind of divulged into Rosa's route by accident because I had no idea she was a romance option. But Peter's the other one. But we learn that, uh, Rosa actually confessed her feelings to Chris when they were back in high school. And he essentially rejected her, or I, more specifically, didn't give her an answer, and that was like a dick move. I was reading the comments, and people were thinking maybe Rosa had something to do with it, and maybe she's not so innocent, because that could have lead her to wanting to get revenge on Chris. But, I don't know, I know usually the innocent characters you have to be careful of in the, like, the horror kind of situation, but I feel like Rosa's innocent. I don't think she has anything to do with this. And then again, with the mask, he's been playing games again and essentially making them stress out so that um, the beta blockers will take effect on them and then they can remember stuff, but it seems to not be working according to plan. So we're kind of disrupting his what his plan is to be originally. But anyway, let's continue. One final game. A final game? That means... Yes, the next game will be your last. Oh shit, we're at the end already? Right. I will reveal the truth before it plays out. What? Why not now? So the guilty ones can beg for forgiveness before they are found out. Just because this experiment seems to have ended in failure does not mean that each of you does not remember the past. What the fuck? After all, the guilty ones hid the truth for a long, long time. Who's to say that they aren't lying now? That That is true, because remember when we were talking with everybody, at least from Xavier and Rose and Peter so far, when we were talking to them, they were like, oh, they remember stuff. And then Chris kept saying, I wonder how much they remember, or I wonder if that's all they remember, which is pretty interesting. And it's just like, I, I so far I've confronted like the two most innocent, nicest people in the group, and then Xavier. I'm not saying Xavier's just like an asshole, because I love him, but... I haven't talked to Lisa yet, and that's kind of interesting because I don't, I don't like her. Not because I, you know, she's like bitchy or anything. It's just because she's been complaining the entire time, and I'm like getting annoyed of her. So I'm kind of interested in Lisa, and I haven't had a chance to talk to her, and I'm wondering if we can do that. This is even more fucked up than before. I have to play one final game to set everyone free. Am I going to learn the truth? Can't help but feel excited. What's wrong with me? I think you're more excited to get the hell out of here, actually. So I'll learn everything tomorrow. Indeed. You'll learn who are the guilty ones. Just as Sarah intended. Did she truly want this? You can't even answer that? Well then, are we done here? Shall I tell you how many? Huh? How many what? How many? How many of them are guilty? How many of your friends are innocent? You're really gonna tell us? Chris? Chris, you don't have to answer him. Uh, Why not? <laughs> oh no! Why shouldn't Chris learn how many of us are innocent? It'd be better to know what's at stake than to assume all of us are innocent. That's an interesting statement, Peter. That seems a little backward. Why would- If Chris knew how many of us were innocent, then the ones who weren't would start getting paranoid the closer to the game we got. Leading the guilty ones to reveal themselves. <sighs> well, Chris. All you need to do is ask me. Wow, okay, how I... How many of my friends are in a I don't know how I feel about this. Should I? Do Do I? Would I? This, w this could wedge a large wall between my friends and me, but this will also let me know who are the ones to watch out for. Oh, God, I kind of... Like, okay, again, of course friendship is important, but we're in, like, a life and death situation here, and I feel like... Would Chris, like, okay, example, if the, the guy would say, oh, one of them or two of them are not innocent or whatever, would it, would it make Chris, like, attack them or something? Would he, would they get violent? Because I don't know if this game will go that far, you know what I mean? I kind of want to know. My terrible, my terrible friend, I really want to know. How many of my friends are innocent? I need to know. I have to know. One. What? Only one is innocent? The rest of them are guilty? What? One? What are you talking about? Hold the fuck on! You're lying! There's no way- Guys, stop it! Uh-huh. Peter? You heard the guy. Only one of us is an innocent person. There's no reason for him to lie now. <laughs> Such confidence, Peter. 
Of course, you are correct. There's no reason for me to lie at this point. Not with a final game around Shit, the corner. I didn't ex- I thought, like, maybe, like, two were innocent. Like, at least half of them. Oh, God, there's only one. And, again, I, I kind of favor Peter and Rosa mostly because they seem to be the most helpful in the situation and the most innocent. But that can also mean, like, they're guilty because either they're being nice now because they feel guilty about what happened or they still don't know it's them. You know what I mean? And I don't think... From what I've heard from Peter, he hasn't said anything like, oh, I, I have something to get back at Chris because, you know, uh, there wasn't any drama between all of them. The only drama that happened between this group was essentially Chris and Rosa with the whole she confessed her feelings to him and he didn't answer. But I don't know. I don't know. It's fucking weird. How do we know that you're not lying? I would be breaking a promise if I did. A promise? What promise? More secrets. Great. What exactly does this guy know? A promise to Sarah or something? Well, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Have a good rest, insects. The next game is a very important one. What the fuck? Alright. Let's all make a pact. I don't like this. I don't like how the music just got really intense all of a sudden. Huh? Where is this coming from? I'm sick and tired of that fuckface trying to screw with us. We need to come together and stand our ground against that guy if we're gonna survive. I agree with Xavier. This is kind of like- I know it could be like a clue that maybe Xavier did it or whatever, trying to protect um, himself from looking like the guilty one. But it's true though, because at least you know these people. You don't know who the fuck the mask guy is. But- What do we do with the guilty people? Then Chris will decide what to do then. However, we can't just let this guy divide us before the final game. Xavier's right. We have to remain calm and just get through one more game. It's the only way to survive right now. As terrible as that is to say. Wait, no, he did say- I was about to say, what if Chris was the only innocent one everybody else is guilty? But he did say it's for the friends, not Chris, so never mind. So, we have to be willing to lie to Chris again just to survive? Get your head out of your ass! Did you listen to anything I just said? No. You get your head out of your ass, Oh, Xavier. shit. Just because we want to survive doesn't mean that we should make some stupid pact and lie to Chris just to keep breathing. I'm trying to keep us from letting that asshole who kidnapped us get into our heads. I mean, I, I agree with both of them. I agree with Peter. It's just like, we shouldn't lie to Chris because, like, this is not helping anything because, like, a, that person is in danger, right? I, like, I, I get it. But we shouldn't lie to Chris. How does this, like, help the situation? But Xavier has another point that we shouldn't let the masked man control, like, the situation. It should be them against the masked person. But, you know. <laughs> no. You're trying to ensure that Chris will keep you alive. Peter. Peter, calm down. Xavier, hold on. What's wrong with living? Is surviving that difficult no, of a don't fucking concept fight. understand for a shithead like you? Stop pretending like you're better than me. I may not remember everything about the past because of that stupid drug we all got, but I remember damn well that you can't say shit about living when half of your life was a huge fuck up. Oh shit, Peter! What Whoa. the fuck do you know about living? And what the fuck do you know about me? You know jack shit, and that is all you've ever known. At least I'm clean and never had to go to rehab, you fucking asshole! Oh, damn, what? What? Oh, oh shit! Peter! Uh, I will beat the of you! Guys, no, don't fight! God damn it, why? Boys, why are you always fighting? Guys! You know what? Stop! I gotta stop them. This is psychotic! Xavier! Peter! Stop it! What? Uh. Finish what you started, prick! Whoa! Xavier, please! Holy fuck, Xavier's completely gone. Chris, get back! You fuck! You think you're better than me now? Whoa! Ah, fuck you! This is insane! Why isn't the kidnapper stopping them? He can see us, right? Why is he letting this happen? Because he doesn't fucking care! I'm the only one who isn't falling for your heroic bullshit! You're not the leader of this group, so stop trying to be it! Jesus! Well, at least I have a pair of balls to actually stand up for us, Pete! What do you have to say about that, you fucking coward? I am not a coward! Whoa! <laughs> Peter, enough! I'm not a coward! I'm not! No, sweet child, I'm... no! Oh. 
Peter's shaking like crazy. At least he stopped hitting Xavier. Xavier! Peter? I... Oh god, don't make me fucking do this, dude. Like, you're gonna uh, you're gonna make me choose between these two. I love both of them. But honestly, in this situation, I feel like Peter was in the right. I mean, I mean, not Peter. Wait, Xavier's in the right for getting mad, but he shouldn't have hit Peter. You shouldn't hit anyone. Even doesn't matter how angry you are. And uh, God, I don't like this. Why do you get Michaela? Why are you making me pick between these two? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, Xavier, are you okay? Xavier, hey. Xavier knocked out- Xavier's knocked out cold. He really took a beating. Peter, oh shit, he's knocked out? Let me see your hands. No! I- I have to go. God damn what? it. Peter! He- he just ran into his room. Rosa, Chris, help me get Xavier into his room. Right. That was- Scary. Damn, I didn't expect Peter to like knock Xavier out. Jesus. What the hell was Peter thinking? What the hell is Xavier thinking too? Well, what was up with Xavier? Excuse me? Lisa, you're making me become suspicious of you again. Peter was slightly right, you know. We have one more game. Just because we make a pack now doesn't mean it'll stick if- So you want people to die? Oh my god. No! That's not what I was insinuating. Do not yell at my girl, okay? You fucking goddamn it. Sorry. I guess this whole thing is crazy. Yeah. Xavier's packed idea, though, seems a bit selfish, but safe at the same time. If we can come together, then we can stay as strong when the final game happens. But if only one person is innocent, then would I see any reason to make such a pact? I don't know if I could bring myself to do that. Here. I'll take care of Xavier. You two... You should go check on Peter. Okay. Okay. Chris? Ugh. What do you plan to do? I don't know, man. Huh? About the game. It's tomorrow. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. Yeah. Chris? Yeah, Rosa? Whatever happens, I trust you. Okay. We all do, in the end. Do I deserve that trust? That's a whole other issue. Peter? Can we come in? Huh? It what? won't open. Go away! Oh, Peter! Peter! Just leave me alone, okay? Holy shit, Peter. I don't think we'll be getting in. Oh, Peter. I'm going to bed. Huh? Okay. Have a good night, I guess. At this point, how can you have a good night? <laughs> like... Yeah. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Would you make a pact to, like, not fight against each other? Or be like, we shouldn't do that? Cause some someone is, one only is innocent, the rest is guilty. I I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I I feel like making a pack is like the smartest decision so far, but I don't know how much that would screw everybody over. You know what I mean? Especially Chris. Uh, that was a complete mess. Why did Peter and Xavier snap and fight like that? Why did the kidnapper let that happen? Now Xavier's knocked out cold and Peter's locked in his room. Is everything going to be okay, Chris? Sarah, at this point, hell no. Nah. I don't think so, Sarah. Great. I'm even talking back to my hallucinations. Oh. I'm sorry. For what? I'm sorry for leaving. What? It's not your fault. Sarah, it's not your fault. You were eight. I didn't know that you would leave the house. I didn't know how big my responsibilities were. I didn't know that you'd one day disappear. Some dark, vile part of me wants to blame you for everything, but I know that isn't your, that isn't your fault. No one wanted to be outside more than you. Mommy, can I go play outside? No, Sarah. You know you can't play outside. Why is she not allowed? But why not? Because I said so, okay? I didn't know then, but Sarah had some sort of mental disorder per and that prevented her from learning as quickly as the other kids. Oh, okay. It caused a lot of problems, so she was stuck in being homeschooled. I wonder what kind of mental disorder she had, but that that makes a lot of sense why the mother wouldn't want her to go outside. I mean, in a way, that's kind of not a good idea to treat your child with a mental disability. I mean, come on. Like, at least have someone be outside with her. Like, I don't know. Because of that, she was practically under house arrest. Our mom didn't understand how to handle a child with a disability, so she treated Sarah with safety gloves. Yeah. And, and, and then again, I know some people don't know how to handle that situation, but essentially locking your child in a house because they have a mental disability isn't the answer. At least that's how I see it. 
I tried my best to teach her about everything I knew, how to do math and how to draw. She always loved to draw butterflies. I even tried to teach her how to differentiate between good people and bad people in hopes that one day she would be allowed to go outside and see the world. But the more time went on, the more idea of her even being going outside seemed possible. So I decided to take a new responsibility. What if I watched over her? Huh? She really wants to go outside. I can uh, watch over her. Chris, you're such a good brother. Chris. Please, Mom. I promise to make sure she stays behind the fence. Okay, Chris. After that, she finally got to go outside. Our mom worked two jobs, but she was always arranged her schedule to be home and let Sarah out by the time I got, to sc I got out of school. Then we played together until sun went down. I'd always have to do my homework while I ate dinner. The teachers sometimes complained about food stains. Still, it was worth Sarah being happy. Oh. You loved going outside. You couldn't have known. You would have never known that. Someone would take you away forever. All because I couldn't protect you. Sarah. I'm sorry. No. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. Everything about this is my fault. Sarah disappearing, getting kidnapped, my friends getting tortured. Everything. Not even my hallucinations would respond or and fight me on that. Am I a terrible person? Am I the only one who deserves to be drowning in a tube? I feel like it. <laughs> of course you'd feel guilty because he was the one watching her, right? So of course he would take the majority of the guilt on himself. Waking up, I feel blank. I should be happy. I'm about to learn the truth, but something keeps me from being re uh, relieved at the idea of the final game. We get to leave. Well, I get to leave. The others, however, are waiting for some sort of judgment. That that was the kidnapper's plan, after all, making me judge my friends for what some, some did to Sarah. I always circled back to the same question over and over, like it was a broken record on repeat. Will I have the courage to judge them? I'm suddenly beyond scared. What will I learn? How did Sarah get taken? Who took her? There are so many questions running through my head, yet I can't bring myself to... I can't bring myself to feel anything but fear. What has become of me? Of course you're freaking, freaking out, yes. you know what I mean? Hey. 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 Xavier looks like he got hit by a truck, but where is his, where are his bruises? Hey, are you? I'm fine. He didn't hit me hard enough to make bruises. He knocked you out, though. Yeah, I was about to say what? Rosa, one more word. Sorry. Guess he's... Guess he, ju guess he just heals fast. Lisa did take care of him, and we did have plenty of ice. Maybe Rosa helped after I went to bed. Here, food. I'm getting It'll suspicious. Why are you hanging out all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I didn't feel hungry, but if I don't eat, they'll know something's up. Where's Peter? He hasn't come out of his room. Damn it. He locked himself in there. I guess he found a way to lock the sensor so we can't force the door open. Now I'm having a feeling that Peter's the innocent one. I don't know why. Well, it's kind of easy. There's a button on the pad that- And now you tell me? You didn't ask. Still, <laughs> I'm worried. Leave him be. He's an adult. He'll eat when he's hungry or he'll just skip the meal. Not like he'll be able to stay in there for the game. So he has to come out eventually. Yeah. I'm gonna go to my room. Chris, at least eat a little. Okay. Huh? Shit, she noticed that I wasn't eating. What? Is it bad? No, it's not that. I'm just not hungry. <sighs> Excuse me. I need to calm down, but I can't look to anyone right now without thinking about the final game. What if they're, they're the one who's innocent? What if they're guilty? All these thoughts are making me batty. At least, the hallucination of Sarah isn't here to see, to see me like this. I need to talk to someone. Guilty or not, I need to not be alone right now. Okay, uh, these two are in here, huh? Um, I mean, I want to talk to Peter because I want to make sure he's alright, but again, I'm very curious about Rosa. Not because, like, you know, it's the romantic root or whatever, it's just like, I'm very intrigued with her. So, I'm just gonna check on Rosa and see what happens. Rosa knew something was up with me. Maybe I can confide in her a little today. Hey, it's Chris. Can I come in? Huh? Sure. I don't know why, but I feel a little secure with Rosa. Maybe because she's not as bra as brash as like the others. Still, she seems the most terrified person out of all of us. Not that I blame her. What's wrong? Huh? She saw through me that quickly. Chris, I may have lost my memories, but I can't help but know when you're not okay. I mean, 
the situation we're in isn't the best. Yeah. But... She is ridiculously empathetic. Wow. However, I don't know if I should tell her anything. I truly don't know if she's the innocent one or... Hell, she could be the worst of them all, and I wouldn't know. Still, how to respond? I, I, I want to trust her! I really want to trust Rosa. Like, I seriously do. It's just... Oh, man. I feel like... Oh, God. Because I, I have a feeling that Peter's the innocent one instead of Rosa. I'm gonna trust her. It'd probably bite me in the ass, but whatever. I feel that deep down she's innocent. I cannot see her doing anything bad to anyone, especially Sarah or her friends. Maybe it's because of her behavior. I don't know. I think that I can trust her. Well, I've been thinking about Sarah. I see. I keep hearing her voice and getting flashbacks and... Well... I blame myself for all of this. Chris! I do, Rosa. I blame myself completely. Of course. If I had kept an eye on her like I promised our mom, then she... God damn it. I could have stayed I could have saved her. None of this would have happened. And here I am, spilling my guts to Rosa. I must I must look absolutely pathetic. Ugh. What? Huh? Is she hugging me? You did nothing wrong. Aww. Don't think that. I know that Sarah would never blame you. None of us do. No one should dare. Rosa. Whoa, what's happening? Rosa's always been there for me, even at my worst. She's always been there to, to be at my shoulder to cry on. Hey, I'm cutting you off. You're a student, for Christ's sakes. Go home. I remember going to the bar whenever I felt I was depressed. I drowned myself in alcohol just to forget my worries, then ranged my, uh, then ranged my thoughts of stress and work to um, meager su suggestions of suicide. Oh no. Either way, I made myself known to the Campus Town Bar. Yet, Rosa would always be able to find me. There you are. Drinking again? I needed it, alright? I always expected a judgmental look from any one of my friends. I was spending money on booze and wasting time instead of managing myself properly. But Rosa never treated me like that or looked down on me. Tell me. She'd always hike up a seat beside me and let me rant on her, uh, rant on and on about every anything floating in my mind. It was like she was a psychiatrist that I never had to pay back. She never asked anything from me, but she would always help. It's not like you give a damn about the grade, it's just... It's fucking rough. When the case file reminds you... Oh yeah, that's why he's doing the missing person stuff. Oh. Chris. One particular school project was about children going missing. Everything came crashing down on me at once and I suddenly felt myself missing Sarah even more than I did before. She was the reason I went to criminal justice, after all. You good? We're good. I'll cover his tab. Thank you. Don't you start! Chris, come on. You're too drunk to walk home alone. Let me drive you back. No matter how much my drunken stupor made me fight her, she'd always wind up taking care of me. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime. You can always rely on me, okay? Need water? Please. That's sweet. When we were alone, she would open up and even be stubborn at times with me as much as I was with her. But when we were around the others, she would always take she would she would always take a step back. I would never realize why. Ow. What why though? That's weird. I know she's like very shy and like reserved because she doesn't like making friends, but she still hung out with these people. Like these gr this group of people. So please, Rosa, please tell me you're not guilty. <laughs> huh? Sorry. Did I hurt you? No. Just a headache. Oh, let me get you- It's alright. I don't need any water. Thank you, though. H huh For taking care of me, you know. For always being there for me. I... The final game is about to begin. Everyone, please make your way to the main room. And then this bitch shows up. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here because we're about the final game. So we're gonna find out what happens to Sarah. But anyway, I just find it interesting that the two people who snapped was Xavier and Peter. Peter being like, you know, the sweet one or whatever. I know Xavier is like the asshole of the group, but I just find it interesting that those uh, those two like fought each other. But at the same time, the one who reacted the strongest was Lisa. Um... The, the whole part of the, let me take care of him, you guys go ahead. Or, and the part with, um, 
yelling at Rosa, which I did not appreciate, yelling at her for saying, uh, arguing with her for not agreeing with Xavier. Every time people, like, they would go against Xavier's plans, Lisa was the one who was always arguing back with them. So it makes me think that Lisa and Xavier are the guilty ones. At least, at least from, like, the way I'm perceiving it so far, that's how I see it. I don't know. I just feel like that, and then maybe Rosa has some sort of part in it, but I don't know. I just feel like Peter's the innocent one, anyway, but we'll see, like, what happens in uh, the next episode. Anyway, so, I, once again, I'm gonna uh, give away one Steam key for Remember Remember, and I'm gonna be picking at random, so let's go ahead and check who it is. Okay, and the winner for today's video is, oh my god, it's Tara, or OMG, it's Tara. I will put uh, the, your comment here on the screen, and please message me on my channel. So how you do this, go to the about section and hit send message. And, and I'll give you the Steam key, but thank you for everyone who entered, and once again, there are three more keys to give away. I think I'm not going to be able to do three more videos of this, so I'm just going to do, like, the, the rest of them at the last video, if that's going to be the next episode. But anyway, if you guys would like to enter and to win a Steam key, all you got to do is follow the rules in the description, and I will pick uh, at random on the next video. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Remember, Remember, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can check it out. You get early access, videos only available for Patreon, a bunch of stuff for my artwork, and a bunch of other cool stuff like a Discord server so you can t come talk to me. Or if you would like to buy my artwork, uh, that's another way you can support me as well. I've added some new things to the store if you want to check out the link is in the description. Anyway, I'm excited because we're near the end, and we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully it's not terrible as I think it is. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! This is too sweet. It tastes like shit. <laughs> you have bad taste. I don't even know how to start explaining.